ZQ Merino was born from an absolute passion to take Merino wool from this country out of the commodity basket and to take it to market in a differentiated manner. So what we did is we went into market, we did a lot of consumer insight work and we found out there were a lot of consumers, a lot of end brands, that were looking for the substance in behind the fibre and behind the ingredients that were going through to their end product. As a consequence of that we found out there was going to be a huge amount of interest into the origin of, of our fibre um, and particularly the integrity that comes in behind it. So things like animal welfare, environmental footprint, even fair trade in terms of how the farmers are being treated by the end brands. What we then decided was let's um, wrap all that up and put a brand around it. ZQ represents to those customers way more than just a symbol that goes on a product to support their own sales. It, uh, if anything, it, it sort of represents a whole ecosystem uh, of people, of innovation, uh, of, of passion, um, of a real desire to make a difference through to somebody else's business. When we describe New Zealand and offshore markets, we use material, we use video footage of it that's been so beautifully put together in the New Zealand story. And that backdrop is really, really important. But one of the things that we've noticed is that other countries can also show great imagery. So increasingly, what we have done is we've incorporated people. Māori have an expression, kaitiakitanga, which is very much about people and place. From our perspective, it is about the people that are involved in the land. It is about the fact that these farming enterprises are multi-generational. It is about the fact that there is guardianship. It's about what we can do to the land that in fact enhances it. The end customers love it. They love this concept of the protection of the land, the enhancement of the land, not just sustainability, the attitude towards people. And the extension of that is manakitanga, which is how people in this country welcome uh, our brand partners and their customers as they come from overseas. So why would one of the most exclusive retail brands in the world choose to do business here in New Zealand when they have a lot of choice around the world? Those two values of manakitanga and kaitiakitanga we feel sets New Zealand, Aotearoa New Zealand aside in terms of a unique place to do business with. We really take the people element of business very, very seriously um, and very genuinely. I mean, we enjoy hosting people, we enjoy building long-term relationships and we enjoy adding value to somebody else's business. For New Zealand as a country just to trade commodities, we are undervaluing so much what we have to offer. For businesses in this country, where you can wrap around the IP to help capture in a genuine way the hearts and minds of end consumers, there is a significant economic prize that is going to be there for your end customers and then as a consequence through to your own business and your own stakeholders.